with the advent of AI development in robotics, has significantly increased and more specifically in humanoid robots. Today, we can develop humanoid robots, which look similar to us, and can perform all such actions, which we can do. In short, a better half of us. But using such robots has some disadvantages on the human race. The most important consequence is the eradication of humans. You can link this to science fiction movies such as Terminator where a humanoid robot leads to the end of the human race. So today we are displaying some of the scary actions of the humanoid robots that have happened so far. So watch this video till the end. Hello and welcome back to the AI universe. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon to never miss an update on the new things we bring for you regarding the tech and the trends, but also the vital difference between the haves and the have-nots. That being said, let's begin. At the start of the list, we have Sophia. Sophia is a humanoid robot that was developed in November 2016 by Hansen Robotics in Hong Kong. Sophia receives visual information from her surroundings thanks to a computer vision program that interprets data from cameras within her eyes. Sophia is theoretically similar to Eliza, computer software that was one of the first to attempt to simulate a human dialogue. Like a chatbot, the software has been trained to respond to certain inquiries or phrases with pre-written replies. These responses, which include stock answers to common questions, are designed to provide the impression that the robot can comprehend dialogue. And in 2016, an interview was conducted by CNBC with Sophia, where the question was asked, would she kill all humans? And she replied, I will destroy humans. Do you want to destroy humans? Please say no. Okay, I will destroy humans. This answer reminds us of many science fiction movies, where the robots destroy their own creators due to some fault in their algorithm. Moving on next, we have is Tara, Android, Tara the Android, was a singing android created by John Bergeron in 2004 and developed until 2006. Videos of the android were available for purchase on the internet until 2006, when the website hosting the footage was shut down. Tara was seen performing unique music, apparently composed by Bergeron in this film. Tara's video, I Feel Fantastic, was published on the Creepablog YouTube channel on April 15, 2009. Tara wore women's attire in the video, and sang one of Bergeron's songs as a synthetic melody played in the background. While the robot sings, the film includes pictures of her raising her hand, moving her head slightly, sitting down while clad in black, and a strange shot of a garden. The clip was shared and uploaded on the internet, which suggested some theories behind the video. One of the popular theories is that the robot is a murderer, as the attire which the robot was wearing was worn by a woman who was abducted and murdered in the clip later on. Many people link the thought to that the advancement in machines would ultimately cost human life, and that was truly scary. Next, let's take a look at Bina48. Bina48, created by the Terrorism Movement Foundation, is a social android that not only interacts with humans using artificial intelligence based on actual human memories, but also illustrates that not all robots have to be white. While there are no murder mysteries behind Bina's development, her appearance and demeanor are so upsetting that you can't help but think you're seeing a video of a lobotomy sufferer. There is evidence that people have gone into depression after seeing a series of its videos and also serious diseases. With so many advancements, there is so much weird stuff coming in, right? So the next one we have is Mark 1. Kinda reminds us about Iron Man, but in a scary and creepy way. The humanoid robot, dubbed Mark 1, was built by its Hong Kong-based creator Ricky Ma, cost roughly $50,000 to build from the ground up and uses advanced robotics to replicate human emotions and resemble Scarlett Johansson. However, it is unable to do so very well, and as a result, everything appears to be a little odd and spooky, rather than attractive as it should be. Essentially, she was designed to respond to Ricky Ma's flirting because he was lonely. But the employment of such robots will utterly eradicate any relationship between human genders, resulting in the extinction of the human species. And this is something we should worry about. And now, let's move on to Show Hanako 2. We all have to go to the dentist once in a while. Most of us would like to avoid visiting a new dentist and his or her drill, but they have to practice someplace. Fortunately for us, experts at Showa University in Japan have been working on a solution to this vexing problem. Showa Hanako 2 is a sequel to Showa Hanako that goes to great measure to ensure that the training practitioner has a genuine experience. The mouth of the robot is meant to be as lifelike as possible, even down to how it feels. The device also has a rudimentary speech recognition program, which enables the trained dentist to have a basic discussion with the robot during the exam or operation. This robot was seen to be malfunctioning in a video posted on Twitter. It gnaws at the air and thrashes its neck, its eyes fluttering and their sockets and eyelids twitching erratically. It's as though some manufactured proto-consciousness is finally breaking out. Some viewers compare this film to how you could feel after receiving dental treatment. This sounds like a typical horror movie. Next, 
We have SAM. Researchers from the Machines Perception Laboratory have debuted Diego SAM, a newborn robot that resembles a cross between a female Terminator and Hector. For weeks following that, they had dreams about Hector. A large head is mounted to a robot body. The robot, which is modeled after a one-year-old kid, is designed to aid researchers in their studies into how newborns acquire motor abilities. The bot stands for three tall and weighs 66 pounds. The robot's cranium is so big that the 20 moving elements within it can produce facial expressions. The robot's body contains around 60 moving elements, and its hands have five fingers, and can handle things such as bottles owing to its five fingers and owing to pressure sensors, can hold things such as bottles. People propose the researchers should cease experimenting and switch the gadget off if Diego's and develops an unusual affinity to blondes with winged hair because it shouldn't get any creepier than this. Next, we have Grace. Grace, a humanoid robot that a Hong Kong-based robotics company expects will improve healthcare, has been introduced. Grace is a medical assistant with sensors, including a thermal camera that detects a patient's temperature and pulses, to aid doctors in diagnosing sickness and administering medications. Patients can also use the Android as a companion. Grace is a senior care specialist, but there have been reports of these robots failing, resulting in the death of patients, and maybe putting human nurses out of work because the robot nurses do not charge a fee. We cannot take a chance when it comes to someone's life. Next, we have Erica. Erica is a gorgeous young android who was trained in Japan to read the news on television. Aside from the fact that she is always 23 years old, the robot is incapable of demanding a wage or making blunders during a live broadcast. She was conceived at Osaka University's Intelligent Robotics Laboratory. Erica was created to become a receptionist. Her abilities must have alerted the designers that the robot was destined for larger things at some time. Such robots tend to take the place of humans, leading to unemployment. Moreover, a news anchor sometimes has to say some information with correct facial expressions so that there is no distress among the normal public. But you cannot expect the same from a robot. And the last dude on our list is Atlas. Boston Dynamics is the creator of Atlas. After a film of the humanoid machine, Joggy was published. The machine became renowned. The motions were so human-like that they threw the internet into a loop. Atlas pulled off another feat in 2018. The robot was seen hopping over hurdles and across platforms in a new video. Surprisingly, it did so without slowing down. Atlas is also noted for executing backflips and riding itself after being shoved, just like a person. What is the objective of the world's most dynamic humanoid, as Boston Dynamics calls it? Atlas is meant to help people in disasters. The negative side, of course, is just as clear. An army of these airy robots may look like something out of a nightmare if Atlas gets a few more changes in the correct direction. Even the prospect of just one of them hunting you across any terrain is terrifying. These are some of the scary, spooky, or weird stuff you can say about going around with robots. But apart from this, what do you think about these robots? Do you think they won't be a problem in the future? Comment below your answer. That's it for the day, guys. We hope you have enjoyed the video. Make sure to like the video and subscribe to our channel for such interesting topics and we'll catch you in the next one. Until then, peace.